Hey guys, it's Julia, aka The Mug Life DIY. Welcome back to my channel. And today I've got a really fun, super big haul of Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree. Now I did stop at two Dollar Trees. I was looking for a few things. Did I find all those things? No. But start off, I went to Hobby Lobby looking for the 90% off Christmas stuff because I wanted to go last week and didn't get to go. And I went this week, today, Monday, and I was very sad. <laughs> Hopefully you guys got some 90% or 80% or 70% off Christmas stuff because that's my favorite time to buy stuff at Hobby Lobby for the holiday. This was the 90% Christmas. So it was $5, so was that 50? See, math guys. But I found these really pretty picks. They're like snowy and they got pine cones and they're like little twirly thingies. And they have two of them, so I grabbed the last two of those. And let's see. And then I bought this really jumbo, huge um, poinsettia, poinsettia. I never know how to say that. Um, and it's like a felt, it was just really cool. So I grabbed that. This guy was $5 too. So paid nothing for all. And this was like the only thing that I actually like bought just for myself, not for home decor. And they were so pretty. Do you see that? Yeah. So these are my new, just for me. I love them. I think they're so pretty. They are the Iron Orchard Genuine Leather Nickel Free, which is great because I'm allergic to nickel. So because you guys totally needed to know that. So I love shopping any of the clearance at Hobby Lobby. And I went to the fabric section and I found this fringe, which I have no idea. Let's see, how much was it? Um, it was 28 inches and I paid 186 for this nice like suede. So pretty. So I kind of have some ideas. I love the texture. You guys know I love texture, I love the color. Um, so I don't know, I have no idea, but I bought it and I love it. So there's that. <laughs> Probably the biggest thing that I bought, um, this was in the clearance section the aisle and it was just so pretty. This is a 12 by seven or, oh my goodness, I don't even know. 12 by eight tribal waters collection, T tribal, totally me. And it's all wood and I love that. But here's the top of it. It has this really gorgeous like wood grain and then the bottom and this was $12.49. It was originally $50 and I got it for $12.49. So I love that. I'm actually thinking about, I want to do this in my room because I have like blue, well, I have blues all over my home, but like this, we just redid our room. So I'm kind of thinking I want it up here and I don't know, it's really pretty. What do you guys think? So I did buy these to redo or to decorate and such. Okay, so let's see. This one is just, it says good vibes only and it's got like the flowers. He was $21.99 and I paid $5 for him. And I love it. It's actually like wood and it's just so textured and it's so fun. Um, so I don't know, I might redo it, I might not, because it's gorgeous as is. It would look really great with my Valentine's Day stuff I've got going, love. Okay, this is a corkboard memo frame. I don't know, I just thought it was really cool, even as is. So it kind of has like that bat that stands up and then it's all cork. And he was $4.99. Now let's see, he was $20. But oh my gosh, it's so cute. I like you can't even like, okay, let's open him up. Look at how pretty. Like, yeah, cheap, just like as is. Like so pretty, like the texture, like I just love, I love. So that is pretty. This one I will be redoing. I bought it just because it's wood. Um, let's see, just says home decor eight by eight. He is $10. I paid $2 for him. Um, and I like how like the side is like the white distress. So even if I like paint, 
the top or put something on it like it's already done on the sides and it's really pretty so got that one for two dollars and i also this one was two dollars too um and it's kind of like that same i guess like teapot kind of thing um totally pretty and it could be kind of valentine's because it has the hearts and like the floral very springy um he was twelve dollars it's eleven and a half by eleven and a half but love so redo or keep don't know yet but that was kind of like the idea yeah and that's everything that i got at hobby lobby so we'll go on to the dollar tree i bought some of this stuff a few weeks ago and i absolutely loved it it's the thicker fuller hair vegan purifying sugar scalp scrub and it is so nice like it's a nice like gets rid of all of like the buildup and the scale and I have a really sensitive like skin and scalp so I bought this just to see if it would help like my scalp like when it just gets all the gunk even though I only wash my hair like once a week it's still curly hair it's so sensitive so I bought this and I actually looked it up on Amazon this company like went out of business or something or they got bought out but this stuff isn't cheap on Amazon. So I bought another one of those. And then I saw they had the shampoo and it's got organic quinoa. I don't know if I'm saying this, Babab, Baobab and Biotin. Um, and then this, and like I said, it's hundred percent vegan, um, gluten-free, SLS free, like all of these like free. And I really like the green bottle. So I might try to like upcycle and recycle a project into those. So I bought two of the shampoo. I know. I'm trying to like remember everything I bought. Okay. 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 So I bought two of these, the metal hanging brackets, because the only time I ever find them is during the spring transitional time frame. So I want to make a wooden shelf out of them. Um, so I've got some scrap wood laying around. So this will be a really easy project for me um to make so i want to do that because i love the black metal so that's an easy upcoming project okay now i have never seen this before a window storage bin it's like a stack bin it's huge um it's 12 inch by nine and it's three quarters and seven and eight okay it's this this one is the black one and i love these for like my kids toys um or, you know, just pretty much anything like underneath the sink, um, like organizing. And I've been organizing and trying to like declutter my home, um, which we have been doing an awesome job. My husband and we had a nice extended quarantine break. So, and I actually like, I feel like this is like really well made. Um, like the seams aren't like, like they're definitely double stitched. They have like a little thing. It has like a little bit of a metal, like I don't know what you call this, like a coat. Um, so this is the black one. I absolutely love it. So I bought two of those. Um, that's what they have. And then I found one white one. So I don't want to open the white one. I love organizing stuff. I am a thrower binner kind of person. So that's the white. I really like the white. I think it's pretty, I like both of them. But I feel like my kids will get this one dirtier a lot faster. So which one's your favorite? I don't know. Still kind of like the black one, but they're both super cute. I would have bought two of the white if I had found, but I only, these are fine. <laughs> this was the only one I found, uh, but it has my last name, the W. So I bought one of these. I'll probably make a little Easter wreath for our door. I thought that was cute. It'd be fun to paint. So I bought that. Okay, so I found these little rocks for my kids to decorate. Um, it's a DIY rock, rock painting kit. I actually don't, they're pretty heavy. No, it's so strange. But it comes with like the little three painting things. Um, so my kids will have a lot of fun. We'll probably do this on Valentine's Day or I'll put it in a little bag for them. Valentine's with like a little box of chocolate, something like that. Um, we don't really do a lot for Valentine's. I'm not a, not a big candy for my kids kind of thing. And I finally found some more of the nautical rope. This one is the 11.1 feet. I feel like that's like longer, short, I don't know. 
So I bought two more of those because I needed them. I bought the wired jute cord because I don't ever really find them. So I did buy a whole bunch of ribbons. Let's see. Okay, stuff I had never found. Okay, so these two are paper ribbons. Um, it's, they're both three yards. Okay, I feel like I gotta get close. Okay, so this one is in this really fun blue and it's like a braided cord and then this one's like in a natural jute color, tan, khaki, whatever you wanna call it. And it's so pretty. So I bought two of those and there you go, these two. Okay, so this one is also the paper ribbon. It's three yards, that's nine feet, guys. Um, and two different colors, but I love the braided. So this one's kind of like more of a natural, like dyed tan. And then this one is the lighter, which I really, really love. Okay, so my friend, Nicole over at the Wink's Nest, she did like these super, super cute, fun projects with this like faux leather ribbon. I had never seen it before. So I was like, oh my gosh, I need to go check and see if my Dollar Tree has any. And I went to two different ones and I finally found it in three different colors. Now this one was my favorite, which is why I bought two of them. So I don't really buy like a lot. If I find something, I'm not gonna like empty out the shelves. <laughs> Sorry, um, if that's you. You do you. But I found it in these three colors and I really love it. And I'll have Nicole's video so you guys can be inspired and see some really, really fun crafts that she did. And I just think they're just like so gorgeous, like totally modern farmhouse, love that. Okay, and the tag is totally gone. Um, so I had never seen the succulent before. I thought it looked really, really nice. It was a different brand than what's the noise. It says fall grass and I don't think they're fall at all it's the same color it's that like pale pinky color and i just love them i kind of want to do some more of it for spring and kind of transition the few valentine's diys that i've done into um spring but i just love these i thought they were super pretty. like this is like one of my favorite patterns and i feel like i can't remember what this this because tile even i feel like it's a lantern mosaic kind of pattern but I love it. I do want to paint this because I think it'll really stand out if I do paint it. So I'll probably do some of my chalk spray paint. So that is that piece of glue. Okay, these are little wooden, they're like thin little plaques, but they have the little um, metal wire up at the top. This one says together is my favorite place to be. And I love you more than brunch. <laughs> Um, so one of my friends over on Instagram, I feel like she does have, um, a YouTube, but I'm not entirely sure. I will have her Instagram. She made this like little sweet tart, um, sign. And so I grabbed these cause I really want to make a sweet tart sign. I thought these would be perfect. All I have to do is flip them over and they're the sweet tart sign. Um, so I just thought they were like so perfect. I want to do kind of like these three colors for my three kids. The last items that I found. And I just like, oh my gosh, I love, they are the laser cut craft icons. Um, and they are the crafter square. So here's the first pack. These are all of the stars. It'd be so cute for 4th of July or Christmas time, but they're like so gorgeous. I love them. And then this one is the um, floral arrangement die cuts. Like they're so pretty. Come on guys. Like have you seen these? And then this one is the, I definitely like fall time. Um, they're all the leaves, leaves, leaves. That's so, so sound good. And then look at how cute these little hearts are. There's, um, I think it's two in each. Yeah. Cause it says it's a six pack. So there's two in each, but I absolutely love them. I think they're so cute. And honestly, like, I feel like these would make like, I know I'm totally like a hippie going here, but like how cute like earrings, you get like the little earring pieces from Hobby Lobby and you make some really cute earrings. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them, but I just really liked them. I picked them up. I'd never seen them before. So I got all four packs that they had. And that's it. I say that's it, but that's like a lot. 
<laughs> um, it was a little bit hectic with my kids, but I was determined to find the ribbon, which I found the ribbon. Um, and that's it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Let me know which one was your favorite find. If you guys have found some Hobby Lobby clearance stuff, like I haven't found anybody. Like ugh, clearance is like my favorite. <laughs> So if you guys want to see more hauls or just me shopping around, I mean, come on, who doesn't love shopping around? So I hope you guys are all doing awesome and staying safe and I will see you guys next time.